Now today I start the integral calculus portion that is we should say that integral and its calculus. Now I start a new topic of integral calculus and it's a portion of one part of the mathematical calculus and today the topic is successive reduction formulas so that we can say it integral by successive reduction formulas it's very important for the mathematics and it's also bsc first year owners in mathematics also and thank you for watching this video and watch also the all videos of this parts and also subscribe my channel and watch it thank you and let's start that now our first question is integration of sine to the power n x dx that's because how much now we should its answer by successive reduction of integral calculus formula and it's a natural formula of the successive reduction and it's also integral by parts a part of the successive reduction formula so that we have also the equation is and equation is integration of sin to the power n x of dx that's equals to i n and it's also let and here n is the power of sin x so that we can write it also i n equals to integration of sin to the power n minus 1 of x times of sin x of dx and now integrating or integral by parts theorem or formula in integral calculus it's also known by you as the lowest part in your study on mathematics it's also a part of 11 in class 11 or 12 you should now i of n equals to we can write minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x minus of integration of n minus 1 times of sine to the power n minus 1 of minus 1 as its derivative of x and that's time of sin x derivative is also cos x and that's time of and here integration of sin x equals to cos x and also a minus so that minus and minus is becomes to the plus formula and i also write it cos x and cos x that's equals to cos square x the last line now we know also in lowest part of mathematics is the trigonometry formulas sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1 and cos square x equal to we can write 8 minus of sin square x so now the minus of sorry 1 minus sin square x we put it down on cos square x that's it and it's that's its sign of i n equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 by x plus n minus 1 times of integration of sine to the power n minus 2 of x times of and that is coming so that minus of sine square x of dx and it's also x you should not be okay so that 1 1 of n equals to minus of cos x into sine to the power n minus 1 of x plus n minus 1 of integration of sin to the power n minus 2 of x of dx minus of n minus 1 times of integration of sin to the power n x dx as the n minus 2 plus 2 that's equal that's become to n here i also write it 1 of n that's is i of n sorry and that's it that's also i of n equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x plus of i of sorry n minus 1 of that is i of n of n minus 2 minus of n minus 1 of i of n that's from the question and also let it so i can write for you as i of n equals to we also let integration of sine to the power n x 
times of dx so that and therefore or that's mean we can write it here i of n minus 2 equals to integration of sine to the power n minus 2 of x dx that's it and that's cause for i write it i of n minus 2 and i of n is taking from left hand side to borrow to right hand side so that i of n plus of n minus 1 of i of n that's equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x plus n minus 1 of i of n minus 2 and that's it and also the simplify it so that 1 plus n minus of 1 that's it i of n and that's equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x plus n minus 1 of i of n minus 2 and now simplify that is so that n times of i of n equals to and sorry i have some mistake and that's equals to n times of i of n equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x plus n minus 1 of i of n minus 2 and now dividing by both side also by n and that's n so that we can write it i of n equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x by n plus n minus 1 by n of i of n minus 2 and that's it and it's also a formula of the successive reduction formula <coughs> a s formula it's only a formula only so now write it down a formula so that and it's a formula as integral calculus of the successive integration and it's also use the reduction formula i also next time let some example of this and thank you now find the value of integration of sine to the power 6x dx and 6 is the power and i take also a example of the successive reduction formula and also it's the integral calculus so now let's do it the solve so that where my pen here we have we know i of n equals to integration of sine to the power n x dx that's equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x plus n minus 1 of i of n minus 1 is sorry 2 and here also minus cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 by x and n minus 1 by n and here also i forget that by n and here by n that's equals to here given equation is integration of sine to the power 6x dx that's equals to i of 6 let here so that i of 6 equals to we can write minus of cos x times of sine to the power 5x by 6 here 5 because n minus 1 formula so that n minus 1 that's equal to 5 by 6 of i of 4 and here i of 4 equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power 3x by 4 plus 3 by 4 of i of 2 so that i of 2 equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power 1 x by 2 plus 1 by 2 of i of 0 and also we know i of 0 equals to x and 
you can say it so now i of 6 equals to minus of cos x times of sin to the power 5x by 6 plus and here we also followed so that 5 by 6 times of minus of cos x times of sin qx sorry so sin qx by 4 plus 5 by 6 and the second followed so that here 3 by 4 times of and the third followed so that minus of cos x times of sin x by 2 that's plus of the last quadrant so that 5 by 6 times of 3 by 4 times of 1 by 2 of i0 and also we know i0 equals to x so put it down so that that's that's mean i of 6 equals to minus of cos x times of sin to the power 5x by 6 plus minus 5 times of cos x times of sin to the power 5x by 6 and 4 equals to 24 and here 3 and 6 cut down so that minus of 5 cos x times of sin x by 160 plus of and 3 of 6 cut down so that 5x by 16 and its answer and its a also answer of this value and it's a value and thank you for watching this video i also take some or example of this formula now again i take a another example to find the value of integration of 0 to pi by 2 of sine to the power 7 x t x and it's also limit function and also integral calculus of this so now take it down it's like so now we have we also take its j n as here limit of integral so that j of n equals to integration of 0 to pi by 2 times of sine to the power n x dx that's equals to minus of cos x times of sine to the power n minus 1 of x also by n of pi by 2 that plus of n minus 1 by n of i of n minus 2 and that's it so now limit function and calculate it so minus of and here the denominator is n write down so that cos of pi by 2 that's equal to 0 we know and sine of x that's of pi by 2 of that's it sine of pi by 2 that's equal to we also know 1 so that 1 to the power n minus 1 that's mean that's is 1 so write down that's 1 and here 1 to the power n minus 1 so now minus and here my also minus so that minus minus and that's equal to plus and cos x that's equal to 0 and sine of x that's equal to 0 sorry cos 0 that's equal to 1 so now 0 is coming so that's equal to 0 and that's loop equals to 0 so that now the main uh, our answer is n minus 1 by n of i of n minus 2 so that write it down j of n equals to integration of 0 to pi by 2 of x to the power n of x dx that's equals to plus of n minus 1 by n of i of n minus 2 now phrase and writing j of n equals to we have integration of 0 to pi by 2 of sine to the power n x dx that's equals to n minus 1 by n of i of n minus 2 and that's it so now calculate of this and change the pen so that the blue pen now given equation is of sorry the given equation is 
integration of 0 to pi by 2 of sin to the power 7x dx and it's also and that's equals to we also let j of s n so that j of 7 s sine to our question is sine to the power 7 x so that we can write j of 7 equals to how much so we take the pro formula of j of n so that j of 7 equals to 6 by 7 of j of 5 so now j of 5 equals to we can write 4 by 5 times of j of 3 and that's it and also we write it down also j of 3 equals to 2 by 3 of j of also 1 as 3 by minus 2 equals to 1 and j of 1 equals to we know integration of 0 to pi by 2 of sine to the power 1 of x of dx that is sine of x dx that is we know minus of cos x and the put the limit so that 0 to pi by 2 and we know cos of pi by 2 that's equals to 0 so that minus 0 and cos 0 equals to 1 and here minus so that minus and minus plus so that the answer is 1 and now and that's it j of 7 equals to we can write 6 by 7 of j of 5 and also j of 7 times of here put down j of 5 the solve equation so that j, uh, 6 by 7 times of 4 by 5 of j of 3 and here 6 by 7 times of 4 by 5 times of j of 3 the solving equation so that 2 by 3 of j1 so write it down and here also 6 by 7 times of 4 by 5 uh, times of 2 by 3 of j of 1 equals to 1 so that write it down 1 and that's equals to we know and cut down 3 by 3 of 6 that's is 2 so that 16 by 35 and its answer and that's it and it's also we can write it the question so that integration of 0 to pi by 2 of sine to the power 7x dx that's equals to 16 by 35 and its answer also and its mark now that's a interesting formula of reduction successive as you know successive reduction formula and find the value of integration of 0 to pi by 2 of sine to the power 7x dx and thank you for watching this video like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel and never miss press the bell icon bye bye tata have a good